Ciao. So normally I'm from the meter challenge and this is a quick one. Um, in English to explain to any of the people out there what we're doing. We're in Italy in case you haven't heard from us and in Italy we're on lockdown number four. So we have all the kids from um, from two, three years old at home again. So what do we plan for this one? First of all, I think these games should be done all year round, all day round, because they're a good safe way to play in your house even when you're not in lockdown. Um, when teams are in lockdown, yes, we coaches have time to prepare activities, but then when it's not, we're out on the field. But when we're on the field, there's a lot of kids that are in quarantine. I actually have three kids and I just went through three weeks of quarantine with my kids and then we got locked down. So it's not everybody. Everybody has um, a time at home or not. So in case you don't know, this time for lockdown number four, we have decided to support the distance learning, online learning, the dad. Why? Because everybody's doing it now. Um, for a long time here, our elementary school kids were in school, but now they're not. So this is how it works in a quick summary if you want. This time we're supporting the teachers. Teachers, you have our support. Why? Because it's hard for kids to sit, it's hard for kids to study, and it's hard for kids to do this at home. And now they're at home, and I am a mom, and um, I can't be a teacher to all three kids. I'm, I really, I really can't. Now the problem is, um, it's very distracting at home. So what can we do? We can help our kids by, between the lessons, supporting them to move their body, not sitting on the couch, looking at their cell phones, watching TV, bothering their mom, their dad, their grandfather, their babysitter, whoever it is that has to stay at home with them because now the schools are closed. So, quick summary. You take a find, a, it's with your kids, find a space in your home. As you can see here, it's not bigger than the video, I've put some tape down. If you can see this a little bit, and I've created a one meter by one meter box. Why? If you move your couch around, your chairs around, you can find it. The parents have to decide where this is. You create this space where the kids have permission, permission to play in the house whenever they want. Or if you have to work in the same room when you have a break. The rules are very simple. Any object they use does not get thrown there. There is no juggling. Absolutely no juggling in the house. There's no competitions of juggling. There's no competitions of putting a basket in the corner and seeing if you can do a go. No, no. If anything, leaves the ground outside. outside. Respect the house. No. Are you, are, parents, are you with me? I have a 17-year-old. We've been doing this for a year. He just broke my candle. And if he does it again, I'm going to break his foot. Right? I'm not really going to. But you know what I mean. We've been doing this for a long time. So... Even though it's frustrating, let's follow the rules so we can all live with peace and harmony. Um, all objects in the box, body in the box. Do anything you want. You can send a challenge to your friends. You can just play by yourself, play with your brother, play with your sister, play with your father, play with your mother, play with your grandfather, or just play. When the teacher gives you a break, move your body. Now, a great challenge that the meter challenge did, I think, is the music meter challenge. What does that mean? You pick a song, you listen, listen to the song, and you move your body, and you don't stop until the music does. Oh, try two or three of those. Oh, it's very, very, very tiring. And you need to, kids, when the teacher says, okay, 10 minutes break, this is what you have to do. <laughs> and then sit down and study again. We will learn better this way. We will, I promise you. So we're gonna send a few ideas for, this is not just soccer, this is any sport. I do a lot of soccer because that's what I coach. Um, have fun. I would say, um, first of all, if you can play with a friend, you need it. If you have permission, you can do a FaceTime, a WhatsApp video call, whatever you guys use. Call your friend, play the mirror game, which is a great game 
where I look at my friend and I try to follow her body. Do it with music because music, you can see how long. Okay, I got five minutes. This song lasts three minutes and 42 seconds. I'm going to move my body to this song. And when it's done, I don't have to remember what time it is. I just turn around, press and yes, yes, teacher, I'm here, I'm here. So we don't lose track of time because we usually we lose track of time a lot when we're playing games, right? Right? Yeah, it's true. So I'm going to send you a few ideas here, and I hope you have fun. Um, move your body. It's the only thing that can really, truly make us happy and make us study better. And whatever sport you do, try to practice your sport too, okay? Hope you have fun, and uh, if you want, send us some cool ideas. I've sent out a great challenge to my team. Anyone in the world can try it. We all know what this is. This is our mask. Here, I'm sending a challenge and when I have a mask, it was, um, it's used. Can anyone invent a game that you can use with yours, not somebody else's mask, with your mask um, staying in the meter box? Let me see, you kids have the greatest fantasy. Enjoy and I'll see you soon when I have some time to send some ideas. Have fun playing kids. Move your body, stay healthy, and you'll learn better. Bye.